All right, in this video, let's take a look at restricting props that can be passed to a component. To help us get started, I have created a folder called restriction in the components folder. This folder contains one file, which is random number.tsx. Let me go over the component code. First, we have the component props type. There are four props value of type number and three optional boolean flags is positive is negative and is zero hopefully they are self descriptive within the component for the jsx we render the value of the number and based on the flag we display either positive or negative or zero Pretty simple component, as you can see. Let's go to app.tsx and invoke the component. Random number, make sure to import it at the top. And let's pass in a prop, value is equal to 10 and is positive is equal to true. Of course, if true is the value, you can just specify is positive and it is automatically inferred to be true. We have no TypeScript errors as you can see. However, there is room for improvement. At the moment, it is quite possible for a user to even set is negative to true and is zero to true. This, of course, is not how we intend the component to be used. What we have to do is restrict the props. If is positive is passed in, is negative and is zero should be disallowed. Similar restrictions with the other two props set to true. Let's see how to do that. In random number dot tsx, we begin by creating separate types for positive, negative, and zero. Let's create a random number type and extend it. So type random number type is equal to an object which has one property value of type number. Next, we specify type positive number and this is going to be equal to random number type and an object where is positive is a property of type boolean. So the AND operator here means positive number will contain all types of random number type in addition to is positive. Similarly, I'm going to copy paste type negative number which is equal to random number type and is negative. And finally, type zero, which is equal to random number type and is zero. Now we can specify our restrictions. And for that, TypeScript provides a never type. For positive number, we set is negative to never and is zero to never. Also, this should be optional. We are basically telling you can never set is negative and is zero as a prop when you set is positive. Similarly, for negative number, we set is positive to never and is zero also to never. Also, they are optional. Finally, for zero, we set is positive as optional and never and is negative as optional and never. And as for random number props, we set it equal to positive number or negative number or zero. And as soon as we do this, TypeScript throws an error in app.tsx. We are restricted from passing in 
e is negative and e is zero when e is positive is said to true. The same holds good for other combinations of the props. Now I understand I've used a very non-practical example here but that was intentional to keep the example simple. I want you to understand the concept and apply it for a more practical example in the project you're working on. But this is pretty much how you restrict a component prop with TypeScript, making use of the never type. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.